Okay, so now what we're going to do is match your skin for your foundation. Okay. And today we're going to be using the TimeWise Matte Foundation. So that was something we talked a little bit about um, at your first appointment, and that is the liquid to powder. So it goes on like a liquid, okay. and then it dries to a really nice matte finish. Um, so I think you're going to really like it. Now, we did the CC cream and the mineral powder foundation last time, and that might be more of your everyday foundation. What do you normally, because you normally wear like a liquid, just kind liquid of a, a light liquid foundation. And then just a little light powder. Over okay. It, and that's okay. It. So depending on your personality and your schedule and things like that, this liquid foundation might be one that you would wear every day, mm -hmm. or you might be like me and use the CC cream, you know, on exactly. just, when you just are kind of quick, get out the door, but then you use your liquid foundation on the days that you want a more polished Okay. Finish, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically I'm looking at the um, beige. I think you're going to be probably like in a light beige. For your skin tone, what we're trying to figure out is if you're yellow, olive, um, or pink undertone. Do you tend to um, burn a little bit, east, like, or do you burn and then tan or just tan? Um. I guess burn a little, and mm -hmm. then sometimes it peels, but sometimes it tans. Yeah. I, to, I know I cheat, and I go to the tanning bed, okay. so if that helps with it. Like, okay. I don't normally mm -hmm. burn brine. Okay. So. Okay. So sometimes you get a little bit red, and then it'll uh -huh. turn into a tan. Okay. So you're, I'm thinking probably, let's try the beige one. And what I'm going to have you do is just try a little bit on your cheek and okay. kind of blend it down towards your jawline. Okay. And we want it to pretty much disappear. So if it looks too light or too dark, or if it looks like too yellow, um, or too pink, or anything like that, then I want you to let me know. So like this yeah. area? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And we just want to blend it in completely and make sure that we've got a good fit. What do you, do you think? think? A little bit too light, That's maybe? what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Should I use this to wipe it off? Um, you can, we, you know, we're just going right over it. Okay. It shouldn't be a problem because it's not like drastically. So here's one, let's see, what do you think? Just you, Yeah. Yep. See, that's just one shade darker still in that same undertone. So go that's ahead and try good. that. That's our beige too. Yeah, I think that's definitely. Is that going to be dark enough? Let's see. What do you think? Do you see? I think that actually probably is going to be pretty good. Okay. And we're going to do some bronzing, and we're going to do some highlighting and contouring. So, oh, perfect. Um, okay, cool. All right, so now I'm going to give you a liquid foundation brush. Okay. And I'll show you. Have you used the, that before? Um, is it kind of... I'll, I'll see it. Oh, yeah. I see it. <laughs> sure. Okay. I just so. started getting into brushes a little bit ago. This is the liquid foundation brush. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it's nice. It's similar, and but it's circular. And, okay. So, um, yeah. So, they've, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different types of brushes and sponges and oh, things like that. This one's nice. Yeah. This is a really high quality brush. You can also tell, um, like, if you're, you know, if you're ever comparing brushes like this, a lot of them, they start to break, like, right here. Right. And so they're a little bit cheaper, whereas this is all the way up there. So That's a lot amazing. of just um, professional cosmetologists even say, like, this is such a good brush. For nice. ten, and it's only ten dollars, so it's like a really good Perfect. price. So you go ahead and kind of like war paint. You're gonna do um, across the forehead a little bit, the nose, the cheeks, the chin, and then you're just gonna blend out. Okay. And the trick with a liquid foundation brush is that you just keep going until it's completely dry. Okay. And so if you start to, you know, as you start to do it, you'll notice it kind of. You'll see like brush strokes and things right. like that. But um, you do want to go to the point where you're just kind of brushing out and down, like kind of down and outward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And you just want to come keep going until it is totally dry and flawless. And this is going to give you a really nice kind of an airbrushed finish. Nice. Gotta love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we're doing promotions. Yes. So the look that we're doing today is a full glamour. We're going to do everything from, okay. you know, using all of the brushes. You're going to do highlighting and contouring. We're going to do a full eye um, look. We're going to do the full lip look and everything. And cool. so some of this you might just do on special occasions. Mm -hmm. Again, it kind of has to do with more of your personality and how much time you have and, you know, some something like that. Some girls, it's like this is their every morning routine. Right. Um, and so you'll get to just, you know, take the different tips and tools and things like that and use them, use them. as they work for you. Thank so. you. <clears throat> Let's see, okay, good. That. 
And you don't have to worry, I forgot to tell you, you don't have to do, worry too much under the eye area because uh -huh. we're going to be doing concealer and highlighter under there. So, okay. <laughs> you can, yeah, so whenever you're doing it yourself, you can actually just kind of even ignore this area here. Okay. Um, or if it's easier to just do the whole thing, then we can layer over it. It's either way, it's not a problem. Okay. Does that look pretty even? Yeah, I think that looks really good. Okay. Perfect. What do you think? I really like this. And this one. mirror comes out. <gasps> yep, I think I got it on. Great. Yay. All right. So here is some eye primer. Okie dokie. And you're just going to put this on both eyelids all the way from the lashes up to the eyebrow, the entire eyelid. Okay. So, let's see, what's your eye color? Kind of a brown hazel, hazel yeah. color? Okay, so um, we've got two looks we've, um, that I was going to give you the option of. One is for brown eyes and one is for green eyes. Okay. And so this one has some fun kind of plum, purple undertones to it. And this is just sticking with more neutral, um, you know, kind of a little bit of pink and brown. So this is a little bit more golden and purple, and this has just some pinks and browns in it. Which one do you like the best? Um, I generally stick with more neutral, so mm -hmm. I'd probably do that one. Okay. All right. You want to, you know what, you want to try the purple, just since okay. you've never done it before? Let's do that, okay. I know I said no to the lip color last uh -huh. time, and I was yep. like, you should be adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this is a great place to start with branching out and playing with a little bit of color, because it's our sweet plum, and it is such a neutral purple that it helps to kind of bring out some of the green in the eyes, and some of that, the golden flickers in the eyes, cool. but, um... It's so, it's such a, people are going to notice how pretty your eyes look, but they're not going to be like, oh, that's purple eyeshadow. Okay. So it's kind that's of a great perfect. place if you want to slowly try to, you know, try some new things. Exactly. This is a great place to start. Okay, so these are our samples. Isn't that cool? You just peel that off there. Nice. Easy. <laughs> yes, super easy. All right, so one of the tricks that I always um, teach people is that... Uh, when we tend to do our eye makeup, a lot of times what we do is we do the lightest shade first, and then we layer, and we, we kind of layer that way. Right. I actually teach to do it the other way around. Now, your eye primer is phenomenal. I absolutely love our primer because it's going to make your color go on a little bit more vibrantly. It's also going to make it last all day without fading and creasing, nice. which is great. If you're going to take those extra steps to you know look really nice and you want to look like you did in the morning exactly. at 9 or 10 o'clock, and you have a schedule a lot like mine where it's all day yep. and into the night. <laughs> and so um, so I actually teach to go ahead and put the darkest shades on first and then layer over um, for a couple of reasons. One is it helps with the blending. So it's, um, but also if your eye makeup does fade at all throughout the day, you're not losing all the color and all of the, the contouring of it and the depth of it. And so, because if you do the entire eyelid up with that lighter shade and then that's the only thing that the primer is really having full access to. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Okay, so this is our eye crease brush, and I put a little bit of the sweet plum on it. Okay. And what you're gonna be able to do is you can even see here in the picture on number three, it's basically going to go along the lash line and then kind of like a little boomerang, like up a little bit of a sideways V along the crease. Okay. Okay. Kind of like that? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. You can even do a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. And the next eye. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Well, that's okay. <laughs> we're we're going to be blending anyway, so you oh, don't have okay. to worry. That's one thing is you don't really don't have to worry about perfection because, for one thing, you're always moving and your eyes are open and you're moving around, so people aren't studying and making sure everything's perfectly that's true. symmetrical. Yeah. And we're not symmetrical anyway, um, but you're going to be blending and all of that too. So okay. it doesn't, and that's one thing is, you know, you can really play and have a lot of fun with color because, look, now that your eyes are open... And we stand about an arm's distance from each other, right? Right. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. You can't you, even you, Yeah. Like, no. you can't even hardly see it, right? Yeah. yeah. And so if you want the color to pop a little bit more, then what you can do is actually carry that color a little bit higher so that when your eyes are open, you're still going to see a little bit of okay. that um, contouring color and accent color. Okay. Is there a little more on the side? So you can even go up kind of more towards the socket bone. 
But that's one thing is we're looking up close and our eyes are closed and it seems like we have all this makeup on. But then once it's all said and done, your eyes are open, you're in arm's distance. And you can't You know, it. yeah. <laughs> so. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. So now the next color, this one is our truffle. I absolutely love this color. Um, it's a really fun brown and can be worn every day, every color, you know, every skin tone, um, all of that. And so what you're going to do with that is go all the way kind of over that purple. You're going to be layering just a little bit from the socket bone. So okay. the, that whole crease up to the socket bone, almost up to the eyebrow. Okay. Okay. Just along the natural crease of your eye. Like that? Or is that too high? No. No, that's, that's perfect. Okay. The truffle and the sweet plum are both great colors that you can do a quick, like, a dash-out-the-door dramatic look where you could take either of them and just fill your whole lower lid. Right. And then do something lighter on top, and then it's um, kind of a dramatic nighttime color um, without being, you know, like a black or something. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So this is the part where a lot of people, if they aren't used to wearing a lot of makeup, are kind of starting to freak like, out a little bit. <laughs> But don't worry, because again, we're going to be blending, and when it's all said and done, do you ever get that feeling where, like, you do your makeup, and you take all the time, you do your makeup, and then when it's all said and you done, you're like, this doesn't even look like I did anything, you know, or all in the pictures, time. it doesn't yeah. show up. So this is going to really make a difference to where when it's all said and done, and you've got your eyeliner on, and your mascara on, and your hair is done, and your dress, and you're walking out the door, you're going to feel like it, you really have, a, you know, a more glamorous look. Okay. Okay, so this is going to go, you can see here, this is going to go on the inner eyelid. Okay. okay. And this is our rose gold, which also happens to be one of my favorite colors. I've got all my favorite colors in this look. I love gold, like yeah. the little gold colors. Isn't that so pretty? I really, yeah, I really like that a lot. Do I do it over on my whole? Yeah, mat? so no, just make basically just that lower lid. Okay. And then once you're done, you can take that brush mm -hmm. and I want you to just blend kind of in and up. You're just going to blend the whole look. So just kind of go yeah. over everything? Yeah, so you don't want to blend it completely together necessarily, um, but you just want to kind of not be able to tell exactly where, you know, the color starts and stops. Like that? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that looks really good. What do you think? I think maybe I did the purple a little too dark right here. Okay. So you want to um, so you want to just blend it out a little bit more. So without, you don't need to add any color or anything like that. Okay. Um, but you can just use that to kind of blend blend oh. that area a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Back. And now you can kind of layer in place and reapply. So if you're like, okay, that looks good, but now I want that purple to pop a little bit more. Now you can go back over oh, okay. with, you know, with that purple or with that truffle or whatever you want to do to make it really pop. That makes sense. Perfect. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to give you a deep brown eyeliner. Okay. Love our eyeliners. They go on really smooth, but they last all day. Nice. And they're water resistant, they're smudge resistant, they're fantastic. <laughs> all right, so that, you can see it's just right there, yeah. a little tip there, and again, you can take the mirror out if you need to. Okay. And you can do just the top, or you can do the top and the bottom. Okay. Um, it's not recommended to put eyeliner on just the bottom, because it actually drags the, the face down and can make you look a little bit more tired. Oh. Um, so just the top, or the top and the bottom. Okay. And you said don't pull, right? Right. Yeah, you want to try not to pull. Now, if you're, if you're in the habit of pulling on the eye, uh -huh. one thing you can do is actually place your fingertip right at your, kind of on your, the side of your temple. Oh. All right? And, and so, and then close your, your eye. eye. And so what it does is it steadies you, and you're, yeah, you're used to being there, but it actually, your muscles and your skin actually respond to that by kind of tensing. Oh. So it actually firms up that area a little bit too, which helps without pulling on it. Exactly. Because we definitely don't want to pull on our eye area. It's such sensitive skin. 